Hello and welcome back, my fellow Dunedain. We are back at it again with our Northern Dunedain campaign in the attempt to reunite Arnor and then eventually Gondor. However, we may curtail the campaign a little bit and just focus on Arnor's reuniting uh, first, but we will see where the adventure takes us. In the meantime, um, I made a little mistake and recorded the entire next episode without any audio from the battles, music, anything like that. So about the only thing I had to do, I had to go back a couple saves, play up to this point. Um, only thing that's different is I'm a little bit closer striking distance with this army. They were about out here. So what we're going to go ahead and do is attack them. It's probably one of our first things we uh, get up to. Other than that, nothing really crazy or different. I just went ahead and spent all my money everywhere. Um, yeah. But let me just see a couple things. Oh, I've reached my agent limit. Eh, well, for now. I definitely need more agents out there, though. In the meantime, let's go ahead and attack with this army. Yeah. Let's get a tower there. 626 men. It's not a small army, but hey. Let's hop into it. I do hope everybody has been enjoying the series thus far and will continue to tune in, even if it's um, not quite as big a following as the uh, first couple episodes were. I still will continue to play for myself and for you guys uh, who do continue to tune in. Also, any suggestions you would have on how I can better improve so that way it's a more enjoyable experience for you, please let me know as I would be more than happy to make uh, any small changes. Uh, that way we are all having fun together. All right. Let's get these guys up. I uh, don't really think there's much else to do. Who coward. He, he really ran out of the way. Let's see. Range is 150 meters versus probably my 200 or something. 190. Yeah. All right. Let's see if we can't lure them over. At least a little bit. <clears throat> Yeah, let's do this. Come on. We want to get them just within range. He's definitely not within range. Some of these guys are pretty quick marchers. Yeah, that cavalry is something I don't want to tangle with. Fine, I want to be a lot better off than this. Not sure where they're running off to. Oh yeah, buddy. Get him.
all of those five. Nice. Oh no, I want you to get back. You guys attack him. Oh, nice. Let's see if we can get on a one to one firing ratio here. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. All right, let's get my archers firing here in the back as much as possible. Ooh, there they go. Very nice. There we go. Yeah, I don't think I was going to get everyone. But that's all right. Oh, I so want these guys. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Nine percent of mine, fifty five percent of theirs. Excuse me. Now let's get our archers to work with what they can do, which isn't going to be much. All right, where are you at? All the way back here. Hoo, 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 you are out of position to do anything. A couple random axes.
Eh, I got a couple of them. Really not that many, though. Yeah. It's pretty much all we can hope for. This is a clear victory. Lost 136 soldiers. It's not terrible. It kind of evenly spread, although it does seem as though I've lost a decent amount of my better guys. Yeah, between these axemen, spearmen, I really didn't want to lose many of them, but it looks like I have lost quite a few. Although I did heal 10. Not sure why they were suffering such heavy casualties. They had an incredibly high defense, so it's kind of interesting. Maybe um, that little army had a little bit more punch than I realized. All right, let's see. Any ransom to be had? A small one. Not really much of a force. Have mercy, my lord. But my mm. Yeah, well, that's on them. They rejected it. We're going to chase them all the way back to their city and take out that city wherever it is down there. We, shall continue tomorrow. we, shall we only have a couple more settlements. And then the lower end of Carlin has been reunited. And I cannot wait. And... Ooh, blacksmith. Blacksmith. So, nobody knew so far. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait just a gosh darn minute. Your orders, my lord. Orders. Yeah, we need to attack him. I don't really love the idea. Yes, my lord. But we need to um we need to push him back. Ooh, yikes. We also need to upgrade these units. That's a pretty powerful archer unit, all things considered. Very good wardens, but um, yeah, they just need a little bit better armor too. Okay. Your orders, my lord. Orders. To battle. Let's get after him. Two to one ratio. I'm about even for numbers, but org skirmishers. Quite a few of them. I don't have a lot of Dunite scouts to counter. We'll see. Yeah, 14 long spearmen. The rest are. Yeah, so about 400 of their men are thralls. 600. Low tier units, basically. The thralls, hillmen, not a big threat. This isn't too bad. Yeah, this is pretty, pretty trash force. That's why it's two to one. We attack. Plus, Harvey Gill makes this a lot easier, as he is an excellent commander and well suited to taking these guys out. Ah, seems as though we're ready. Let's just pick a day that's not stormy. Oh, come on. Is it still stormy? Have you ever seen such One more day? Oh, man. Seriously, the majority of what I can do to them is ranged and it's raining great Unit, 
Hmm. All right. All right, let's get to it. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> oh, jeez. That's not what I wanted to have happen. All right, let's speed this up. Yeah, we're gonna lure them over there little by little. What is he? He's got 65 meter range. I have 120, so I outrange him by twice the amount. That's pretty good. Uh oh. Everybody run to get in position now. Oh, geez. Come on, guys. I didn't want y'all this much out of position. Yeah, there it is. Some of these point blank shots are doing a decent amount of damage. Let's see if they'll let us get the charge in. All right, hang on. Oh, jeez. So, 23 of them are still standing. Damn. Get you guys firing this way. You firing into him. You firing into him. We'll see just how much damage we can cause with them bunched up like this. Ultimately, though, I don't like kind of the trade off we're having. Hmm. There we go. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours.
All right, let's see if we can maybe lure some of these um, guys out of here. So honestly, I'm a little bit worried about them pushing us like this. There it is. Honestly, this is not quite how I'd hoped this battle would go. much in our favor victory will be ours all right it's not terrible not by far but still not great combination There it is. There goes General. We're going to have some of these units start turning. Yeah. They have lost half their men. Yeah, here we go. That's what we got. Behold how our cowardly foe run. Yeah, continue the battle. Depress the attack. Honestly, if we can get just a little bit more. <clears throat> well, I'll, I need to finish firing with my archers here and then we will be good to go. All right. You hit him. You guys hit him. You guys hit him. Come on. They don't have much to take out. 22% to their 94%. I bet you will heal 3% of that. Alright, let's speed this up. Wait a minute. The one lone guy. Still in range of a couple of these guys too.
Dang, I'm losing more wardens. But I, I kind of want to send a signal at this point. These evil men will not be tolerated. Oh, come on. You're it, man. Kill him. There we go. Yeah, I'm about 3%. I was right. Lost a lot to friendly fire. Oof. Yeah, it's not pretty. Yeah, we could have saved almost 50 men. Actually, yeah, about 50 men. Been a little bit more careful. Archer militia suffered heavily. Gathered some well-earned experience throughout and have a decent amount of prisoners too. We'll see if maybe we can sell them back to Angmar. Any amount of money I can continue to get, I can then pour back into um, Fornost and be able to build up the defenses and garrison there. Just kind of as long as I can. I think Fornost is in the perfect position to just continue to build up and secure. A wise choice. Oh. Yep. And their camp. Lovely. Yes, my lord. Okay. So choices. Well, first let's take a look at some stuff. Your orders, my lord. Nothing we can do with these guys. Nothing I really want to do here. This is gonna happen soon. Is that what you want? Hmm. Yes, my lord. Yeah, I don't really have an option. Yes, my lord. Well, I do, but I would. I think the last time I played this, I got something from Gondor, so I don't think it's gonna be worth doing that again. Ah, well. Good to see you. I don't have anything else to do down here, and it's good to have the uh, kind of relations with them. I wonder, would they give me anything? This <laughs> no, no, they wouldn't. Yes. Without question. We're going to start working our way. As you wish. Yes. As you wish. I shall continue tomorrow. Over towards Minas Tirith. Little by little. We'll work our way that direction. This is crazy big kingdom. I also am very curious as to what's happening here. Dunland is really keeping me crippled. To be honest, I'm not sure if I want to send once this army is done against Dunland or focus them up in the north. I think it might be better to send them against Dunland because eventually I'll uh, bump up against uh, Gondor and I'll be safe. So if I just keep pushing south with that army, but this is such a great natural barrier, I also think it's worth just kind of holding this line and sending what spare troops I can uh, to secure stuff like go back secure this um, if there is any independent villages back here secure them maybe come straight up to a Numenos. actually yeah I kind of like that idea and then I'd have at least a couple of armies in the north holding off Angmar because uh yeah they're getting pretty strong actually let's take a look Militarily, we're not doing too shabby. Ingmar, wow. Yeah, they're doing really well. Production rating, really well. Territorial rating, really well. 
financial rating really well. Yeah, Ingmar is going to stomp me if I don't get in on top of this soon. Well, I think Fornost and Numenos are just going to have to be my bastions for now. And maybe I'll have to work myself up around the mountain. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Is it time? I think it's time. Perhaps we'll get Aragorn on the move. Ah. I need more agents. A spy up here would be grand right about now. My lord. My lord. Mm. Orders. Let's take some of the guys I know will not be missed. I want to take all of them. Yeah, we're just going to go with those for now. I think I'll skirt the border, throwing down uh, watchtowers, maybe start here. Just kind of throw down watchtowers as I work into Northern Rudar so he can complete his story mission. Because I would really love to see Gandalf at some point. Things can only get better. Your orders. I know Gandalf will not come into the picture until I get Aragorn um, a little bit more this way. Gandalf would be great against the goblins, though. So with these Dunedain Calvary... Also, which take a while. Ugh. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to start repairing men soon as well. Okay, well, we've done enough in the single turn. I do have a feeling is that, that we are going to be fighting at Tharbad this turn, though. They just have too large of an army just sitting there. Mm. Yeah, 2 to 1 ratio, 1,800 men. Yeah, we know how this is going to go. Oop. Sorry. Save. Escape key is right there. Save complete. All right, let's get into it. Wonder if it's going to be worth selling off any um, prisoners gained in this attack. Not sure if it will be. Tharbat is becoming a very familiar location to us, though. Hmm, let's see. Okay. <laughs> There's a certain way I like to do stuff. Some of these rangers are really freaking elite. Wait, what? Oh, ho, ho, ho. no. Let's put you guys on that side. And... There we go. Come on. There we go. Just a couple guys. And... Yeah, 
Get one there. Calvary can move over here. And these guys, yeah, well, I want them down here. So that way they can cover this little spot if uh, they come over the walls with those ladders. I think that would be what's best, but ultimately we're going to have to see. All right, well, let's start battle. Let's do this now that we've started. I think it honestly would be better to let them in. What do they have? If I can take out that tower, that'd be great. Hmm. Oh, come on. I gave y'all tons of warning. Run! Run! Our enemy's ladders have reached our walls. It's time for butcher's work. Man, don't wait. Let's go. Man, I really just want that tower to go down. It's one thing I don't like is having them at the gate, walls, and walls. Continue to run, continue to run. You have just a few more seconds. Oof. 0% of mine, almost 10% of theirs. Oh no, I did not realize. Oh no, 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 no. Nope, oh, run. Run. Oh, man. It's not good. It's not good. In our favor, victory will be ours. Oof. That's close. All right. Time to press in as much as we can. Man, we definitely do need some more uh, men here, though, because this is getting tight. All 
Come on. We just need their leader to get killed off. Honestly, that's about it. Nice. Do we catch any other men in it, though? That's the question. Mm, not really. Yikes. Yeah. I wonder, I think they'll probably be able to take them out fairly easily. Come on, we need a different angle on this. Hundred and seven men right there. We just need them to run their way through. Perfect. There it is. Mm. A noble death. Oh, no. That's going to be detrimental to us. I really didn't think he was going to die. Wow. Not really sure that's worth the victory. Because I'm not sure how I'm going to survive the next couple. Come on, get out of there. Continue. Pursue and run them down. Mm. Yeah, it's not really helpful. I'll tell you that. There we go. Uh, I think I've actually eliminated the majority of their men anyway. I totally should have pulled my general out when I had the chance. Take out the other ten over there. There's that one dude too. Come 
come on, just take him out. One guy and a little band over there. What are you doing? Come on. Yeah, I got him. Awesome. All right, let's see. They got him. Okay, we're gonna exit the battle now. Is utterly vanquished. Oof. Six hundred of their men left. Now, as much as I would absolutely love, <laughs> oh come on! As much as I would absolutely love to be able to um, ransom these guys off, I don't think that it's very smart. Tharbat is in definitely a precarious spot. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, and here's why. That's exactly why. Hmm. Not sure how I'm going to survive that. Rondwin's Halls Reclaimed. Oof. I'm nervous. Yeah, I failed that mission. Was never going to be able to get an emissary to um, the other side of the Misty Mountains to uh, talk with the dwarves. Unfortunately. Noble Death. Yeah, now I don't know what I'm going to be doing, though. Mm, I have just barely enough long spearmen to hold against this force. Yeah, it's going to be tight. What else we got? Eh, Carpenter's Hut and Leather Tanner. Asul, Zunjai Wardens. Oh, ho, ho. what are you doing? Sneaky goblins. Yeah, I don't trust it. No fools. Not even a little bit. Yes. Without question. Uh-oh. Goblin army is marching north. Approaching is good to see you, my friend. How can we help? I wonder if I were to sell them that and ask for payment. Mmm, they would give me something. But a regular tribute. Actually, no. Regular tribute, I don't want it. I just want a payment. 900? Seems as though they're willing to pay a lot. Thousand. Thirteen hundred. Okay, so... Yeah, let's go for a thousand. I must 
Ah. Yeah, it was disappointing. Mm, these golem bands aren't crazy. The Uruk overseers, though, are. I do need to build a war camp there. Or this also could be my chance to start pushing south. Uh. Yes, my lord. Is it time? Do we march? My lord. Might be time for us to march. Hmm. My lord, if only I could, as you wish. I think it might be time for me to get involved with the goblins, but I don't want to be premature about it either. We do have several more units being made. Your orders, my lord. Yes, my lord. Your orders, my lord. Yes. Hiding from the enemy. This tower will keep vigil over the lands. Uh oh. With honor. Make yeah. Sure that's what I don't want to run into. That's a pretty large army. Gross. Two more turns. I'll have some roads done. This will help here for sure. Then maybe I can start putting my own watchtowers out. Dang, I'm worried about that. Yes, my lord. We shall engage. We have triumphed. Ten to one. Haha. <laughs> yeah, let's crush him. Then we are one turn away from taking their settlement. Probably. Okay. Ready yourselves. Oh, their plan is to run directly at us. Nice. Nice. And we outrange them. I think we have 190, and he's got 170, so we, that's why we were able to get a couple volleys in. There it is. Where's my axe throwers? Oof. Come on. It's because they're their general. Otherwise, we'd already won this. Our men have slain the enemy general. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. There it is. Not much left of them.
Come on. A few more shots. We're under attack. The enemy army flees the field. This is a clear victory. Yeah, we're going to end that battle here. Lost 21 of my men. And then lost pretty much his whole force. <laughs> I'm hoping that within this next turn, we can defend Tharbad, which is going to be incredibly difficult, and be able to Take that Edoith settlement. Glory, honor, victory. Your orders, my lord. Is that what you want? Yeah, him crossing into my territory is just kind of a big slap in the face. And I might have to push the goblins. Take them here. I don't know. Kind of juicy target. If I could take Dunland's capital, maybe just raise it to the ground. That'll definitely keep him distracted for a while. Give me a bunch of cash too. Yes, my lord. Hmm. Yeah, he's the one I want. Not these guys want him being retrained. Hm, that's dumb. Yeah, let's retrain those. Man, that town is right there. It's so ready to fall. And then these poor towns, though, they definitely need a lot more work. Hmm. We can't get rid of that, can we? Interesting. Well, Your orders, my lord. I don't really think there's much else we can do. Yes, my lord. Your orders, my lord. I could always try and like raid these guys as I see fit, but to be honest, I don't see that accomplishing much. Yes, without question. Yes, without question. Approaching. Always happy to deal with you, trusted friend. Reasonable. Make an offer. Let's see, will they offer us any money? Yes, they will. Glad we could reach <clears throat> until we meet again. Gondor is pretty much just subsidizing us. Without question, stopping here. Yeah, I would take it every time. On that note. What do you need to do with these guys? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Having this war camp here. Great, though. Hmm. 
What else? Yeah, if I build this here, I think that's going to give me the ability to take that whole garrison and go south and confront goblins. No small thing. Maybe not the whole garrison, but most of it. Yeah, let's do that. It's really important that I not lose finish rune. Yes, my lord. I would fight for your people as if they were my own friend. Okay. So not to leave us on a cliffhanger, but as we near the hour, I think we are going to leave it here for the night. We'll be taking the settlement next time and potentially emptying Fenestrun to uh, renew our pact with the elves and defend them from the goblins in the south of Moria. And then desperately need to hold Darvad and reinforce it immediately with as many troops as I can muster. Um, yeah. And then continue to hold Fornost in the north. But until next time, guys, it's been Mr. Wait and See. It's been my pleasure signing out.